I'll tell um, about how to build Botper server from the source code and uh, debug it in Visual Studio Code. First of all, we need to go to the Botpress uh, eHub. and uh, open the WordPress server repository and clone the server using git or download the zip. I'll use git clone. Okay. Now I have the source codes downloaded. Here they are. And um, in order to build them, uh, you have to have some utilities uh, set up. First of all, you need Node.js installed and Yarn installed. Uh, it's pretty simple to Google how to install it. So you can just open the first short link, review, blah, blah, blah. And using a brew package manager, you can install Node. I have Node already installed. Please note that uh, WordPress server cannot be built using Node.js version 11. It's the latest version for now. So you have to use uh, version 10. If you have version 11, you can easily uh, roll back to version 10. Uh, so you can just Google how to do it. Yeah, we can use the first link. And it uh, describes how to install NVM utility to... So basically it's Xcode select install, see URL of the utility source code, here is it. Uh, and uh, then NVM install 10, it's installation of the 10 version of the node. Yeah, I have it already installed. And then NVM use 10. Okay, uh, then you have to install yarn utility. Yeah, it's also pretty simple to Google how to do it using brew. I have it already installed. And finally, you have to install uh, Visual Studio Code if you want to debug uh, the WordPress. Okay, so you can just Google it, download, install, and it will work. I have it already installed. Okay, now we have downloaded the WordPress source code. Uh, I check if I have the proper version of the Node.js, yes I have. Then I call yarn command. It fetches all the <coughs> dependencies, uh, like external modules that uh, WordPress server uses. It takes some time to download them. Okay, dependencies are downloaded. Now I have to call yarn build to build the um, source code of the WordPress. On my computer, it takes about 20 minutes to do that. I'll speed up the video just to show it uh, briefly. Okay, the build is done. And the resulting files uh, are put in this out folder. Here is it. And now in order to run the server, I have to write yarn start. Yeah. The server has started. Here is it. Yeah, now I see the server, can create boot, etc, etc. Uh, the scripts that uh, we have executed are stored in the package JSON file. Let me find it. Here is it. 
So here in the scripts object, we have this definition of how to make build, blah, 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 or how, how to make uh, start, blah, blah, blah. In order to debug the server, I open it in the Visual Studio code. Okay, where is it? And now I run um, start debugging. It starts uh, an instance of the server uh, exactly in the same way as if you run it from the terminal. And by the way, you have to have the server built for the debug to work. So this um, out folder, this one should contain the build server. Okay, the server is run. It's run on the next port because I have already one more instance running. Okay, I open it. Okay, I'll create create a bot. Let's say welcome bot. And now put some breakpoints somewhere. Let's say in the dialog engine. Okay. Here is it. Okay, if I want to debug the case of uh, flow jump into some flow or or let's say make some during making some transition I'll put two breakpoints here okay now I'll open my bot open the chat window and start chatting with him okay and I see the breakpoint working so now you can use these buttons to just debug the server. That's it. Thank you.